Before adding that energy drink to your grocery cart, consider the caffeine content. Prime drinks founded by internet personality Logan Paul are a popular choice for energy drink consumers. The beverage is claimed to have zero added sugar and contain a high amount of caffeine per serving as much as 200 mg for 12 ounces. The drinks are particularly popular among kids and teenagers. Because of this, Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer has called upon the Food and Drug Administration to look into the product, stating that the brand targets kids but does not properly warn parents about the amount of caffeine in its drinks. The FDA should help to make consumers aware of caffeine intake recommendations the dangers of excessive caffeine consumption and create ways that beverages and foods with high caffeine content can include large visible warning labels for consumers. Prime drinks do list warnings on their energy drink cans and the company's website states that the energy drinks are not for those under 18 or who are pregnant. However, the warning labels are often small on the back of the can. Since Prime offers both hydration and energy drinks, it can be easy for parents and kids to purchase an energy drink without realizing the caffeine content is too high. While putting limits on the sale of highly caffeinated beverages to kids is important, it's challenging because of the way the regulations are set up. Energy drinks like Prime are classified as supplements, not beverages, because they contain other nutrients like electrolytes and vitamins. This means that they are not subject to the same regulations as things like soda. Kids have an exaggerated response because they are smaller, so the effect dose such as milligrams of caffeine in relation to body weight is greater. Kids also don't tend to consume caffeine on the same regular basis as adults do, so they are less likely to have developed a tolerance to its effects. This means that caffeine can have stronger effects at typical doses and that kids are less likely to experience withdrawal. So caffeine can have direct positive effects on kids as opposed to primarily acting by reversing withdrawal symptoms, which is common in adults who are regular consumers. Caffeine can be lethal at very high doses, but it would be nearly impossible to consume this much caffeine in its typical form. So lethal overdose occurs with the use of powdered caffeine. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, share and comment.